Hi, boys and girls. Um, this is a continuation of Algebra Readiness. This is number two. I've tried to um, video this one time and it didn't work. It was too long. I'm going to shorten it this time. So we're going to continue and pick up with um, fractions. These are mixed numbers and fractions. I'm going to do a couple of these. Watch closely. Remember that you can um, rewind anytime you need to. So uh, today we're going to work on this problem. 4 and 2 thirds, which is a mixed number, divided by a fraction, which is 7 eighteenths. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So watch, I multiply these two, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. The denominator stays the same. Um, I could have done this another way. Quickly, let me show you. I could have said four holes, which would have been three thirds and three thirds, three thirds and three thirds. That would have been four and then the two thirds. And then I could have kept my thirds and said three plus three plus three plus three is 12, 13, 14. That's another way to find out what four and two thirds would be as um, an improper fraction. I take my whole four holes and then my fraction. Okay, so here we go. So we have 14 thirds and now um, I need to divide that by 7 eighteenths. I'm going to change division to multiplication and I'm going to flip my other fraction. Then I'm going to look and see, is there anything that I can reduce here? I can cross-reduce, as you see, because um, 3 will go into 3, and 3 will go into 18 six times, and 7 will go into 7 once, and into 14 twice. So now, when I multiply across, I get the answer 12. All right, uh, let's move on. Any questions about that? Hmm, good. We have um, this problem, three-fifths times two and one-fourth times four and one-third. So the first thing I want to do is I want to work um, with fractions, not mixed numbers. So I'm going to change both of those to mixed numbers. Two times four is eight plus one is nine. So here I have nine-fourths. I'm going to keep this three-fifths. And here I'm going to have 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. I'm going to keep the denominator. And once again, I'm going to look to see if I can cross-reduce. The only cross-reducing I see is 3 and 9. 3 will go into 9 three times. So now I'm going to multiply across. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 13 is, I'm going to tell you, it's 117. So... If you have your handy dandy calculator, you can use that. 5 times 4 is 20 times 1 is 20. Now, I cannot leave this an improper fraction here. Oh, you can't see a thing I'm doing. Okay. You cannot leave 117 over 20. It's an improper fraction. So now we have to divide. 20 into 117. All right, now I'm going to think in my mind because I, can, I know that 20 will go into 105 times, or I could think, just use the 2 here, 2 will go into 11 five times. So 5 is my best guess. I'm going to use 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I'm going to subtract. I'm going to get 17. 17 becomes my numerator. And 20 remains my denominator. So 117 twentieths is the same as 5 and 17 twentieths. All right. I want to uh, show you um, subtraction problem here with 
mixed numbers, four and a half minus three and two thirds. So what I notice and what we know already from um, previous lessons is that my denominators need to be the same and they're not. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find a common denominator for three and two. So two, four, six, three, six, yes, six is a good, what I was doing then was saying my three tables and my two tables until I find a number they have in common. Three into six will go two times, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by two. Two will go into six three times, so I'm multiplying top and bottom by three. And now I'm just going to cross this out. Now, three six minus four six, oh dear. The three is smaller than the four. Please do not say, oh, I'll just flip that because three minus four is one. One six, that, that's gonna, it's gonna give you the wrong number. You don't wanna do that. So what I'm going to do here is because I am subtracting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow from my whole number. So here I have a four and I'm going to borrow from that. That's gonna leave me three. I'm gonna take that whole number over here. And you're saying a whole piece of pizza. So let's consider if this was pizza. I'd have, um, out of six slices, I would have three here. And here I'd have four slices out of six. So we're working with sixes, six. So I'm going to have a whole pizza now, which is six slices of six. I'm adding that to the three that I already have. So now, not only do I have a whole pizza, I have three slices of this one, so I have nine slices. So this becomes nine sixths because I borrowed over here and I brought it over here. So this is just like when you're subtracting um, and you have a smaller number on top than the bottom when you're subtracting whole numbers. All right, so stay with me. Um, now I can go nine minus four and I can get five, six. Three minus three is zero, so I have nothing here. My answer is five, six. Okay, uh, one more problem with fractions and then I will leave you. All right, this is an improper fraction. Um, there, is, there are no um, divisors that I can put into both of these. So what I'm going to have to do is divide. I'm simply going to have to divide the denominator into the numerator. And I'm thinking seven will go into 47 six times. Six times seven is 42. I'm going to subtract and I'm going to get five. That will become my numerator. The seven will be stay or it will be my denominator. The divisor becomes the denominator. So 47 sevenths is the same as six and five sevenths. All right, so that's all the fractions we're gonna do. Um, we have uh, one more readiness the, um, that I'm going to, uh, it's gonna be called two and a half because my last video was too long. I don't want to have um, anybody confused with their readiness. So here we go. Um, look for 2.5, readiness 2.5. You guys have a great day.